Hey friend, I want to show you something really amazing. We are um, about 10 miles north of the city of Tarsus. And if you remember that city name from the Bible, that is the hometown of the Apostle Paul. But I want to show you something here that is probably one of the greatest tools that the early Christians had at their disposal that allowed for the mass expansion of the gospel. So come, let's take a look. So we've been walking on the ancient Roman road system. It is a, an amazing feat of engineering and, and just human development. They built about 56,000 miles of this road system all across the then known world. Where we are, it's kind of desolate. So the, Rome, the road isn't very wide. We're only about 15 feet wide here. Often you'll see it about 25 feet wide and occasionally you'll see a Roman mile marker. We found one on up. This system allowed for people groups to travel all over the world. So we're only about 10 miles north of Tarsus, the city of the Apostle Paul's birth. Then only about an hour um, or about 100 miles from Antioch in Syria. So where Barnabas and Saul was um, commissioned to go out on his journeys and his teaching tours. And the, when they are walking, there was only one way north or south to come out of Tarsus and give you access into the western parts of Turkey. Because where we're sitting, we are boxed in by the mountain ranges around us, the Taurus Mountains um, to the south and to the west, and these massive mountains that lead up into Cappadocia. So there was one, only one way through these mountains, and it was through the Cilician Gates. And uh, we are walking on this road that anytime Paul would want to come in or out into Turkey while he was walking, would have to walk this road. It's the only one that they've ever found. When I, when I think about the early Christians and how they were able to use the Roman road to massively expand Christianity all across the world, I wonder when they watched Rome and the soldiers build these roads if they thought about the verses out of Isaiah that said about every valley being raised up, every hill and mountain being brought down, the rugged ground being made level and the rough places now becoming a plain and the glory of the Lord shall appear. I often think that they saw this and said God has already prepared 56,000 miles of roads for us as believers to go into every part of the world and to preach the gospel. In walking these trails that some of these great heroes of the Christian faith have walked, I like to try to imagine what they were thinking. Was Paul and Barnabas on their first journey discussing sermon outlines, new topics that they need to present? Were they running through their points and discussing it and saying, well, what about the weak areas in this sermon? Or, um, you know, how do we present this gospel to a Roman world that has never heard about the characters like Abraham or Elijah? Don't understand redemption of Abraham and Lot or the passion of Elijah or just this whole history and wealth of faith that the, the characters of the Old Testament had in their now going into Roman areas and trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe they're even talking about the pair of shoes they got on. Wish they'd have bought that other pair instead of the ones they got. You know, they broke a strap and now they're struggling for the next two, three, four, five hundred miles. About their pack that maybe is too heavy. Maybe getting lost or robbers or night and animals or Roman sentries and when you begin to walk it, you start to put yourself in their shoes and realize what truly a, you could call it an adventure or just trek they are now on. And mile after mile, they're just here walking side by side, heading to the next city to bring the gospel message throughout all the known world.